just want to do this short video real quick. Um, one of the things that uh, uh, skeptics like to throw in terms of the resurrection and the testimony of the eyewitnesses that witnessed the, the event is that they claim that this is hearsay and in a court of law hearsay would not be admissible. Now uh, granted there are other issues such as false analogy fallacy. There's not a, a exact one-to-one -one comparison when it comes to the court of law system because you have to unanimously, unanimously you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, prove it to a jury where you do, in historical investigation, that's just not how, how history works. But, um, uh, so there's not a, a, a perfect one-to-one -one comparison there. Uh, so there's a lot of issues with them making that comparison. But, uh, I did find out something very interesting because a lot of skeptics do throw up that, that whole, uh, hearsay rule, uh, in a court of law that, that hearsay is, uh, unimiss inadmissible in a court of law. Uh, I come to find out something interesting, and I found this out originally through a fictional television series. Uh, there was a series out a while back uh, Dare, uh, uh, in uh, Netflix called Daredevil, and they're now bringing it back again in Disney+. Plus. Uh, uh, it was a very good series, and uh, I'm re-watching it all because I plan on watching the new seasons that's going to come out uh, in Disney+. Plus, and... Uh, um, and I'm on the third season, and they actually mentioned this. Now, at first, I'm thinking, wow, if that's true, that that's awesome. Uh, um, but they actually mentioned this. But, you know, there are a couple of fictional actors. You know, they're actors. They're f playing fictional lawyers. And so I had to check it out to make sure. So I, I did. And uh, um, But before I go into that, I want to go ahead and uh, I want to... Uh, um, uh, I want to go ahead and play that clip real quick, a, a short clip where uh, 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 Nelson, uh, uh, Fra uh, Froggy Nelson, is talking about it to Karen Page and mentions that, that it is actually admissible if the person believes they're going to die. Uh, it's uh, it, it's a, a, a exception to the hearsay rule. Uh, I want to play that real quick, and then uh, we're going to jump into that, and I'm going to show you where it actually is true. It actually is true, but we'll see. He knew he was going to die. Okay, so maybe it won't hold up in court, but if we put this out there, it'll make Fisk's life a living Actually, a dying declaration is exempt from the hearsay rule. The, the court says that a person who believes that they're dying is has less incentive to lie. Therefore, anything they say is... You're telling me this is this is admissible in court? Every word. So interesting. Uh, uh, that, uh, what sparked that into memory is that in the testimony of the apostles, the apostles knew that the message that they were preaching could get them killed. And they were willing to suffer for it. They were willing to die for it. There's strong evidence of that that's agreed widespread among almost all historians uh, because how powerful this evidence is and uh, that's convinced so many people that 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 indeed that uh, um, that uh, uh, they were willing to die for their beliefs um, and so a dying declaration which they would qualify as a dying declaration in a minute we're going to see the the qualification that that's uh, referenced by the court of law whether a dying declaration is considered and uh, a dying declaration means that they are the, if this was a court of law, they would be omitted from the hearsay rule. So, <laughs> because it's a dying declaration. Um, because a person who believes that they are going to die, just like Foggy Nelson mentioned, the person who believes they are going to die has a much more credible likelihood of, of what they're saying to be true. Or at least what they say to be believed to be true, because people don't die for what they know to be a lie. Now, let me, uh, they might die for something they believe to be true and not be true. And, you know, people do that all the time. But they wouldn't d uh, knowingly die for something that they know beyond a shadow of a doubt is a lie, that is false. They wouldn't do that. Uh, uh, that would go against all human nature to the contrary. So, uh, let's, uh, I'm going to show my screen and we're going to jump right into it, because I actually did look this up. All right, uh, here we are, uh, Legal Information Institute here, Cornell Law School, dying declaration. 
And here's what they say. A dying declaration is a defined as a statement made by a declarant who is unavailable to testify in court, typically because of the declarant's death, uh, who made the statement under the belief of certain or impending death. That means they knew that they were going to die if they sat there and preached the message they're preaching or the information that they uh, preach. The statement must also relate to what the declarant believed to be cause of circumstances of the declarant's impending death. Additionally, it says a dying declaration is a, tip, a type of heresy which is the out-of-court statement. However, unlike typical heresy, a dying declaration is admissible in a court. As such, a dying declaration is an exception to the heresy rule. Heresy rule. The exception is listed in section 804b2, if y'all want to look it up, of the Federal Rules of Evidence. Um, uh, other general rules may apply in uh, uh, that the declaration must be based on the de uh, declarant's actual knowledge. So yeah. Uh, and dying declaration may be used in civil uh, law cases and criminal cases. So in other words, it can be used all across the board in terms of, uh, of its legality. But that's interesting, right? <laughs> because uh, a, a skeptic cannot sit there say, hey, well, in a court of law, hearsay wouldn't even be admissible. Uh, now, of course, in historical studies, it is admissible. Uh, but interesting enough, even in a court of law, they make an exception for a dying declaration. A dying declaration is admissible in a court of law according to to uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the law code, according to the United States law. So they can admit that. They, uh, so that's interesting. Anyway, this was going to be a very short video. I saw that uh, section of Daredevil while I was re-watching the Daredevil series and I'm like, wow. I've got to sit there and do a real quick clip. I know I was going to do the video on Ungap. That's still happening. I'm, I'm actually preparing for it uh, to start uh, working on uh, Gap versus Ungap for the Tompkins controversy. But I thought that was really interesting. And when I first saw that, I was like, wow, I've, I've got to do a real quick video of that because uh, skeptics like Matt Delonte and Bart Ehrman will say, oh, it's hearsay. And in a court of law, hearsay, hearsay is not even admissible. It is under the exception of a dying declaration. Yes, it is considered admissible under a dying declaration. I thought that was awesome. Let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.